Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Cafication. Video gaming has changed a lot over the past few years. We have computers for gaming, we have tablets for gaming, such as the iPad. You can see the unboxing here and the review here. You can, and then we have mobile gaming, such as the Nintendo DS from a few years ago. We have the iPod Touch, and then we have some consoles. Here we have the Wii and the Xbox 360. A lot of these consoles can be replaced by using a PC. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Wii and GameCube games on your So what are the things that you need in order to play Wii and GameCube games on your Mac? So you need a Mac with Bluetooth enabled. Um, I believe it's Snow Leopard or later. You need a Wii Remote and that's about it. So um, you want to download the emulator and an emulator is basically a program for a computer that basically tells the game that it's running on a console even though it's running on a PC. In sh in uh, layman's terms. So you want to download Dolphin, which is the one that we're going to be using for this video. So I already have it installed, but you can um, see the little link here to download it. And it comes in um, Mac OS X version, and this also works on Windows in both 32 and 64 bit. And it's pretty much the same procedure uh, with a few uh, changes. So I'm going to launch uh, Dolphin. So here we go, here's Dolphin. So um, let's go down into System Preferences to turn on Bluetooth. So after it comes up here, I'm just going to hit Bluetooth. And then you'll see, you won't have, you probably won't have a, a Nintendo thing, but that's the Wii Remote. It'll say Nintendo and then a the long string of numbers followed by hyphens every so often. So you want to make sure that your Mac is, the Bluetooth is turned on and discoverable. And then you want to, you can close system preferences. Then going back into Dolphin, you want to go into Wii Remote, or Wii Mote, sorry. Come on. You want to make sure that the first one is set to real remote. And then you want to press the one and two buttons on your Wii Remote and press refresh. And if it's if it does connect, then the then the Wii Remote should vibrate to let you know that it is connected, and it'll say one connected. So here it'll ask you for a passcode. So the passcode for Wii Remotes is zero 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 zero. Enter, and it will vibrate when it's connected, and it will say one Wii Remote, or it should. There you go, and the one will light up. If you have more than one remote, Wii Remote, you just do this all at the same time. Works perfectly. So now you are all ready to play your video games. So I will do a little FPS counter in this corner and a gaming thing of what I'm looking at in this corner. So let's get started. So. So as you can see, I'm just using the regular Wii Remote controls, and um, and I died. So hopefully this helped, so you can get your gaming on. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.